Hello everyone, this is Damon with Easy Green Screen, and in this image we have a green uniform against a green screen, and this uniform is too close to the chroma key green color, so we cannot use the automated foreground recovery in Easy Green Screen. Instead, we are going to use the manual foreground recovery method. This is pretty simple to do. On average, this will take you two or three minutes an image once you get good at it. However, if you're doing a high volume photo shoot, just plan on if you're shooting green on green, it's going to take you a couple minutes an image um, with images like this. So this is actually pretty simple to do once you know what you're doing. We're going to start out in the Keep or Remove Areas menu. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to make selections using the selection tools in the areas we want to keep and then we will use the add to foreground with no spill correction to bring those areas back. So to start out I'm going to zoom out here. You do have zoom and pan keyboard shortcuts available when you're in this menu so that's control minus and control plus on Windows or command minus and command plus on Mac. I like to start out with the polygon lasso tool. There's many different methods you can use to do this but this is my preferred method. I'll go to the original image and I zoomed out that way I can get below this image here and make a good selection. And I'm going to select all the way around this uniform but not on the very edge. So I'm going to include anything that I know we want to recover and then we'll recover that and then come back and touch up the edges in the next step. Okay, now that we've got the selection closed off, I'm just going to hit Add to Foreground with no spill correction. And you see that instantly adds that area that we selected to the foreground. Now what I like to do is break the image out into sections and work on one smaller piece at a time. So I'm going to start with this top right section here. I'm going to zoom in, then I'm going to grab the pan tool so we can center this up. And we're just going to work on this little area here. So for the edges where we have green on green, I'm going to view the original so we can see where we're selecting. I like to use the quick select tool for this most of the time, sometimes the magic wand tool as well. And with the quick select tool, I recommend setting the brush size in Photoshop before running Easy Green Screen. And the reason for that is because this drop down for the Quick Select does not render very well in Photoshop while Easy Green Screen is running. It's fully functional while Easy Green Screen is running, it just doesn't display very well as all. However, we can change it here if we need to, so I'll go to 40 pixels. And you can use whatever brush size you need for your image. I like to have the Add to Selection on as well as the Auto Enhance turned on. So now I'm just going to go and brush right over the edge and with that Auto Enhance it snaps to the edge and there's a little piece it missed here. If we use the Alt key on Windows or the Option key on Mac you can get your Subtract from Selection. Now we can just fine tune that selection as needed. And it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect when you're working with green on green because these colors are so similar you really won't see if your selection is off by a pixel or so in your final composition. But you do want the selection smooth so I'll go back and subtract from that then add to that again see if we can get it to smooth up. And there are times where you might want to go in with for example your polygon lasso tool and we can, we're on the subtract for a selection, but as, again, you can use the Alt key to do that. And then you can come in here. And you can just manually clean up any areas you need with the tools you have available. And with my quick select, I'll see if I can get a little closer to the edge there. Overall, I think that looks pretty good. Now, one thing I like to do is I like to use this um, feathering 
and I'll just feather that by the default of 0 0.3 pixels. We're feathering the selection, and that way when we add it to the foreground, which I'll do here, it's not such a hard edge. And when we zoom out, it's easy when you're zoomed way in to see um, a couple pixels that don't look perfect, but if you zoom out to a reasonable print size, you see that it usually looks pretty good, especially when you get it into a background. So I'm going to zoom back in here. And if you do have any little areas that you want to touch up, you could grab any of your tools and add those to the selection. And you see that we just clean that little area up. But overall, I think that looks pretty good. So I'm now just going to move to the next area. I'm going to do this um, area on the upper left and there's some techniques in here I'll show you here in this area where it's in between the arm and the ball and then the shirt so I'm just going to grab the quick select again go right along the edge of this uniform and Sometimes it'll grab this green here, and like I said, if that happens, if you're grabbing pieces of the green screen you don't want, you can use the um, Alt key, hold it down, and subtract that from the selection. That instantly removes that area. And then you can also grab your lasso tool and use the Alt key to subtract that from the selection or you can come up here and use the subtract to selection menu item and overall I think that selection looks pretty good in this lower half but up here you see where we have um, some of the green screen selected I'll subtract that from the selection as well once the selection is good We'll then go ahead and feather that and add that to the foreground again. Now one thing here is you see that we didn't quite select all the uniform and we have that transparent area between the arm and the uniform. I'm just going to grab the lasso tool here and select that and then add that back in. So now if we zoom out to a decent print size we can see that actually looks pretty good. I'm just going to pause the video now and I'm going to do the rest of the image because the technique is exactly the same. Okay, I've finished selecting um, the rest of the jersey and, and adding it to the foreground. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Now, if you do make a mistake and you want to redo um, a part of the image, you don't have to start all the way over. What you can do is come back in here and make a selection. So let's say this area here in the corner we wanted to redo. You can just hit clear foreground and background settings for selection. And you can see the rest of the image that we corrected is still intact, but this area we could come back in here and view the original again and rebuild that back into the foreground. And so if you want to just start over from scratch, what you can also do is hit this clear all foreground and background settings button. And that will remove all of the selections and corrections that we made. And we can start over um, just as we had extracted it from the beginning.